So no matter the amount or the multitude or the quantity of the enemies, wherever they are coming from, the word of God is the only thing you can use to conquer them, no matter how many they are. They are gang up against you shall not stand. Just do this. For the Bible says they will gather against you in one way, but the Lord will scatter them in seven ways. May God continue to bless all my dear subscribers and all my intending subscribers and you that is watching this episode at this time. God bless you all and meet you at the point of your needs in the precious name of Jesus. If you are seeing this channel for the first time, please, I would like you to identify in the comment section by writing today is my first day seeing this channel and i'm going to be sending you a whole gift it's a way of welcoming you to the community god bless you so much and let's go right into the video of today i want to give us two psalms it has done a lot for me see there is power in the tongue there's there's power in the word of your mouth a closed mouth is a closed destiny when you keep looking for this person pray for me this person pray for me see there is no prayer that works like the one you pray for yourself i'm not saying that other prayers that you pray in the church or people pray for you does not work but it doesn't work as the one that you pray for yourself because the, there's another that says that he that wears the shoes knows where it pinches the most Praise God. So you that is speaking to God knows exactly what you want. Somebody can pray for you to a limit. Because that person does not know all your heart desires. Does not know where you are hurting. Does not know how many enemies that are chasing you or all of that. But you yourself knows exactly what you are going through or what you are into. So just do these prayers. You're going to be doing it 12 in the daytime and 12 midnight. 12 in the daytime and 12 midnight for 21 days. Let's see that man that will stand when you speak. When the word of God speaks over you. Praise God. So let's dive right into the video. Number one Psalm is Psalm 35. Don't joke with Psalm 35. He moves the hands of God to begin to fight for you while you are just looking. There is power in your tongue. Don't close your mouth. Don't say, ah, I don't know where to go to. Let me tell you, God lives on this side. Speak the word of God. Speak the Bible. Speak from the word. It's not your word. It's the word of God. The word of God carries power. The Bible says that the word of God is like two-edged sword. And it, it pierces through anything that it catches. The word of God is fire. The word of God is God. The word of God is powerful. So the only thing you can rely on is the word of God. And when you are relying on the word of God, you are relying on the most powerful force on earth. The Bible says, who can speak when the Lord has not spoken? Who can speak and it comes to pass when the Lord himself has not spoken? I want you to remember and know that you are a God carrier. Don't go and be doing, oh, this night they will kill me, oh, they are being this thing against me. Eh, eh. He says, when they shall rise, when they shall arise, like the Spirit of the Lord will arise and raise a standard against them. When the enemy rises like a flood. So even if they are gathering against you in 1,000 places, the Spirit of God will do what? Will arise and raise a standard. Why? Because you are speaking. You are in the place of prayer. Praise God. Show me a prayerful man and I will show you a mountain mover. When you are in the place of prayer, in the place you are always communing with God. You are always in the presence of God. Not necessarily even praying. That sometimes you need to even be quiet in the presence of God and allow God to talk. Praise God. So no matter the amount or the multitude or the quantity of the enemies, wherever they are coming from, the word of God is the only thing you can use to conquer them, no matter how many they are. For the Bible says they will gather against you in one way, but the Lord will scatter them in seven ways. Praise God. So let's go read Psalm 35. And Psalm 35 says... Fight against them that fight against me. 
take up your buckler and large shield and rise up to my defense lift up your spear and battle us against my pursuers so those what they pursue those where they pursue you up and down we are asking that the lord will lift up his ass against them praise god and verse 4 says may those who are hunting for my life be put to shame and humiliated those who are hunting for your life let them be put to shame and let them be humiliated in the precious name of jesus let them be humiliated in the precious name of jesus let them be brought to shame in the mighty name of jesus christ amen may they become like chaff before the wind may jehovah's angel drive them away may the angels of god drive them away some version says that may their path be dark and slippery as the angel of the lord pursues them for without a cause they have hid for me a net without cause you know somebody was asking me mama uh, uh, what did i do for these people to be doing this to me you don't necessarily you have not necessarily done anything in fact you've been alive self you have all names already so you have what the bible says here he said for without cause you haven't done anything they have hid the net for you they are waiting for you to fail inside that net that they have hidden but look at what verse 8 says may disaster come upon him by surprise god surprised my enemies with all the plans that they have planned for me all the nets that they have laid for me father surprise them let that that net that they have laid father use it to catch them praise god use that net to do what catch those people that have laid that net for me remember i said you should do this 12 p.m and 12 midnight for 21 days i tell you before you finish this prayer i'm not lying to you as god be god before you finish these prayers guys you will tell them that the god in you is greater than the god in the world that what you carry is greater than their sorcerers their idols their whatever because let me tell you whoever does any evil against you have done one incantation the person is using the word of mouth so you need to open your mouth and speak the word of god praise god okay let's go back to that verse 8 again he says may disaster come upon him by surprise may the nets which they have hid for me catch them and into that very destruction lay them fall that's not that they have hid for precious okuchuku in the east in the west and not in the south let them fall into that net and let destruction come upon them so add your name to that place add your businesses to that place praise god because of the length of this video i wouldn't want to carry this video to 15 minutes and all of that i would like to end it here but i want you to finish psalm 35 praise god finish psalm 35 let's go to psalm 55 i'm going to just read part of that psalm 55 and then you carry on and finish to the end do this for 21 days psalm 55 let's go right guys And he says, listen to my prayer, oh my God. Just that place where he says, listen to my prayer, oh my God. Just put, listen to precious prayer, oh my God. Listen to Emmanuel's prayer, oh my God. Listen to Chidima's prayer, oh my God. Listen to Vanessa's prayer, oh my God. Just add your name to that place. As you are, you are starting from verse 1 of Psalm 55. Listen to my prayer, oh God and do not ignore my request for mercy do pay attention to me and answer me my concerns makes me restless and i am distraught because of what the enemy is saying and the pressure from wicked ones for they heap trouble upon me and in anger, they harbor animosity against me. He, somebody um, gave us a testimony on this channel. His colleagues, all of a sudden, they ganged up against him. And 
he began to pray with Psalm 35. Those things that they said against him was exactly what came upon them. Praise God. So, do these prayers. I wouldn't want to elongate this video just like I said earlier. Do these prayers 12 p.m., 12 midnight, 12 p.m., 12 midnight for 21 days. And I assure you that their gang ups, as they gang up against you, it will scatter. It will scatter. The name of our Jehovah is a strong tower, and the righteous runs into it, and they are safe. Praise God. Our God is Ojirin Katakute Miri, the Lord who fetches water with baskets to put the to put the bucket to shame. Our God uses basket to fetch water to put the bucket to shame. And you begin to see, see, you begin to see signs. Even those that are gathering, ganging up, saying some things against you, you will begin to see signs. Let me not just see, let me just let me not just tell you all what you're going to be seeing. But as you're doing these prayers, because we have unfriendly friends, we have familiar spirits, which is household enemies, you will begin to see things, things will begin to unfold. Do it with faith and you will see what will happen. God bless you. If you have not liked this video yet, please, it's time to like it. If it's giving you any value, like this video, subscribe to this channel, share this video to others so that they will see it. Praise God. I'll see you in our next video because this video is already long and I never wanted it to be this long. I love you guys. And